Hi, it's Ed Butowski, and I am going to do you a big favor today. I'm going to write off all of your debt, just like that. I'm just going to write it off, and you have no more debt. Wouldn't that be nice? Well, I'm not actually going to do that, but that's what the government is doing for student loan debt, which is, to me, unbelievable. So the Biden administration recently has come out and said, we're going to give $9 billion of student loan debt forgiveness. 125,000 people are going to get their loans just delinquent or just, just gone. That's $72,000 gift from the government. Why? Why in the world should they get that? Now, I understand that, you know, cost of living increase, you know, has made it very difficult for some people to buy a house, buy cars, you know, just live day to day. But that also has a lot to do with the administration's uh, policies. But this is a really huge problem. It's not only, you know, from a mathematical standpoint, because the United States government cannot afford to give loan forgiveness, although $9 billion is a, is a very small fraction of what it costs uh, this country in, in terms of how much debt it already has, and we'll get to that in a moment. But just the pure idea that some people would get their loans forgiven. They went into these loans with the understanding that they were gonna pay them back. They knew what the rate was gonna be, they knew how much money they were gonna have to you know, pay back, and the idea that they're just gonna get you know, just, just with a stroke of a pen, have that go away, to me, is completely un-American. So if you look at uh, how much money the U.S. government uh, or, or student debt is, it's $1.75 trillion. So, you know, forgiving $9 billion is a very, very small number. But, you know, you got to wonder if it's politics or not. But it was $481 billion in 2006. Now it's $1.75, where actually it's higher than that now, um, you know, given the increase from 2021. But then if you start looking at how big the student loan problem is, and when you look at non-housing debt, student loan debt is far exceeding credit card debt and auto loans. And it's, it's really amazing just how much money student loan debt is. But everybody took these debts with the understanding they were going to have to pay them back at some point. So these young people who you know, are sitting around not working or not trying to get jobs, trying to you know, find you know, other ways of making a living, are not taking their debt very seriously, thinking that the government's just going to write it off. And so if you were to look at it, the average four-year college student who has debt has $37,000 of debt. A graduate of law school comes out of law school with $130,000 of debt. Now, that does not include the four years beforehand. This is just law school, and this is those people who took out debt um, and, and borrowed money. And if you graduate from medical school, not including your undergraduate, but just medical school, your average is 202000 That's how much debt is out there right now. And this is a huge problem, but if you look at the United States, we're in a really bad shape. I mean, this is a screenshot of the U.S. national debt, and it's $33 trillion that we are in debt. So just, you know, wiping off $9 billion compared to $33 trillion, that's, that's nothing. But it is symptomatic of what is going on in this country, and we just continue to add more debt and more debt all the time. And this debt that we owe, $33 trillion, if you just take 4%, we're looking at $1.2 trillion of just interest payments that we owe. So again, when you talk about inflation and things getting more expensive, as you add more debt, including the, the uh, loans for student government or student um, debt, as you add more of that to the you know, incredible number of this national debt, we continue to see more printing of money because you got to print money uh, in order to pay for this debt. And it just continues to snowball. And that's also very inflationary. And the prices of things, you know, at the grocery store, your gasoline prices and every single thing out there is going higher as a result of our burgeoning debt. So the more debt we have, the worse it's going to be because we have to print more dollars. And as you print more of something or you create more of something, the value of what you have goes lower. 
So if you print more dollars to pay interest, you're going to have less value for your dollars. Think about, you know, when you see $9 billion, why in the world should we be giving debt relief to anybody? They should be paying their debt 